Okay, uh, so I was trying to demonstrate this. Uh, anyway, what I had wanted to demonstrate with respect to this is that uh, if you look at uh, Okay, if you look at a graph like this, I had already told you that if this is 2021, but you go back up to say 1980, probably there, if this is our 1980. Okay, so we were had, and here I'm citing uh, HIV as an example. Uh, what do you have here? You have 1980, but here you are looking at two things. What are these two things? You're looking at I for incidence, and you're looking at P for prevalence, okay? Uh, so if you follow this dynamics from 1980, you could even go up to around 19, you could start from 1975, all the way up to uh, 2021. This is 20... 21. By the way, guys, I hope you can hear me. Can I hear a yes in the chat? Hopefully you can hear me. Are you, follow, are you with me? Are you following me? Are you with me in the chat room? Okay, uh, all right. Okay, at least I'm now sure you are there. So we are saying uh, if you have, uh, not if, this is what you have been experiencing. Huh? Then maybe there is some relaxation, the thing it tries to stabilize, it goes up. Uh, this has been, uh, you can prolong this, so you can just remove the 2021 20, from down there. Oh, where is my... Uh, okay, I can remove this here. So let's say, uh, just to demonstrate why this is key, this is 2021. This is just a rough sketch of what has been happening. Uh, so I was saying that these are exponential shift rules and uh, generally the concepts we are discussing here, they are key in uh, anthropology. Uh, anthropology, they need uh, quite a number of human mathematicians. The serious ones, of course, those who are not intending to go and uh, languish down there in uh, being a dose and uh, you don't progress in any way. But if you're going to be a multitask kind of person, you can be a dose, but at the same time do consultants with these so-called NGOs that are working on issues related to moral decadence, because most of you are really uh, wanting in terms of your behavioral endeavors. Yeah. Uh, what I was saying that uh, these uh, shape parameters that are taken up in these uh, so-called exponential functions, you'll see that there is some growth, there is a decay somewhere, it may be a little bit slower, it may decay a little bit faster, but what is this generally? Uh, you realize that in the beginning, when HIV has had just come through, there was too much denial. A denial in terms of uh, yes, this is witchcraft. Now, because people thought it was witchcraft, uh, well, uh, quite a number they would say, mm, it "Is witchcraft? I'm not being bewitched." Little did they know this was a disease that was uh, associated with uh, uh, promiscuity or uh, being overly obsessed by having many sexual partners. So this thing kept increasing and increasing. So uh, there is a change in this dynamics. So this change here, that increment uh, brings in prevalence and then incidence. Incidence, so those are the new cases. Prevalence is a combination of new cases plus old cases. So it goes all the way up to here. So somewhere here, it peaks. You've heard of the, 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 the first wave, the second wave in this uh, COVID period. So this is what you call the first wave. Then they will say, when will the wave flatten? Because usually if you have to do any intervention, uh, 
uh, you are how experiencing this vigorous kind of rise and then the question is uh, how do we intervene and uh, how should we plan uh, in your dynamic systems you looked at uh, steady state solutions how do you stabilize a system so this system is unstable so if you have this increment then somewhere around here you've experienced the highest peak and then you experience a decay you bring in the negative now uh the negative somewhere here okay so what brings the decay remember i told you with the behavioral dynamics uh here there is no fear why they are talking of witchcraft there is a kagai there who says for him or her she's born again therefore she cannot be bewitched but at the same time she is also possessed uh, by, uh, by by some evil spirits of uh, promiscuity so she or he is out there uh, uh, mixing with whoever is interested in the services of that guy or lady okay so there is that increment then once someone comes here and says look guys uh what we are experiencing here is not witchcraft but it is actually uh uh this is a sexual promiscuity then people will fear and then they stick to maybe one sexual partner those who do not qualify to engage in such activities uh, they will say abstain they abstain and if all of that is followed there is a decay so in behavioral dynamics, you will say uh, there is some fear that has been instilled. And it is indeed fear. Why? Because of the facts that have come out that the fact is in that range there, uh, you can see people here behaving. The behavior means uh, there is a decay. If this was COVID, it increases because people are not putting on the masks, people are not doing the social distancing the SOPs or the so-called non-pharmaceutical uh, interventions are not being adhered to, then it goes. If they hear people are dying, some of the students are also dying and blah, 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 they say, oh, this thing is not for the aged only, but even as the young, they experience uh, or practice those recommendations because of fear, the thing goes down. Then what happens around here with respect to HIV? Because now you can see, now it becomes a positive here and it grows again. Here they will say, okay, for those who are still obsessed with misbehaving, yeah, we have devised something called the condom. Then they say, ah, since there is something called the condom, you know the ABC, abstain, be faithful, then use the condom. Uh, people start using condoms here, but the fact is, this is now around the 90s here. Condoms have come through, but people don't know how to use them. So as they use them, they are messing up themselves, they are actually catching the disease. Then until somewhere here, someone comes and tells them, you people don't know how to use these things. Or what you are using is not meant for you. I remember one time they brought a shipment, I think that was meant for Indians, but they brought it in Uganda for people who were heavily endowed. And now these things were exposing people to the infection. Then the minister came and apologized, but people had become sick. So people abandoned the use of those things and you can see why did they abandon? This is due to the fact that the disease was actually infecting them. So they abandoned those. And what happened is now here, you can see this is again fear. You come to the negative. So there is that ongoing kind of dynamics. So then here, they started those sensitization campaigns. They got bananas, they ran those drives, teaching people how to use those things. But again, some of those things they had brought, they had the holes. And the people demonstrated and they said, oh, this, some of these gadgets are perforated. Some of you have become experts in using those things yet you don't qualify. Why? You are young, but because your religious background is heavily compromised by the societies you live in, that one 
only God knows your future, but uh, you will survive by God's grace. But uh, I implore you to stop maybe misbehaving because there are always consequences. So when people misbehave and they realize that, yes, they have been sensitized, problems again came because summer had expired. Then fear comes in again. So these dynamics can be regulated and this is another way how our Laplace can be used uh, in the so-called behavioral dynamics or call it anthropology. Uh, for those who will be keen on going and doing consultancy, there is some good Kamari there. Mm? And of course here, they talk of uh, fear comes in, then they brought in the circumcision here. Even the people who were aged eight years went for circumcision. Why would the man aged 80 go for circumcision? Because they felt or thought circumcision would prevent the disease. When they got circumcised, they abandoned the sick and then they fell sick again. This is the problem with HIV, and the problem is still here. So those blips, these continuous blips that you'll heavily discuss in uh, biomathematics with whoever is handling you, are all captured. Uh, they can be uh, demonstrated, they can be simulated, they can be investigated. So for those who are following what I am teaching loudly, uh, don't complain when for people who are not programming and comprehending this uh, in the future, they bump into these Jewish opportunities and then you, you are there wondering what happened. What happened is you would have crammed and you didn't understand the thing in the course. For those who may have understood, they will definitely, definitely uh, go ahead and uh, apply this. Uh, okay, so if we go ahead concerning uh, uh, this, uh, we can now go further. And the, now that we have uh, comprehended more of the applications of uh, this course in terms of uh, a health related sector, my key area now has been anthropology. Eh? The word is anthropology. Is that okay, guys? Uh oh, ah, my mouse is a little bit stubborn. Okay, in anthropology, you can go dig deep into anthropology and how these are applied in the life. Then you will know that for all of the moral decadence that uh, we are experiencing, uh, it has a lot to do with that. Right. So from this, you can now compute these uh, Laplace transforms. So you have L sine bt, uh, but we already have this and this. This is the integration, even if you went for this directly. But if the question insists that you use the exponential shifting rule, then definitely you have to stick to uh, the theorem uh, that is being used here. Right, okay, uh, from that we can uh, quickly further carry on uh, with, uh, okay, these examples, you just plug them in and you deal with the, the computations. There is nothing much here, guys, just, just apply what we have discussed, you know how to integrate, and uh, that will be it. Okay, the differentiation uh, uh, rule, we can uh, look at the differentiation rule. This one now, again, we deal with uh, uh, a few properties. So uh, from the differentiation rule, you have Fs, which is uh, the integral. You definitely know this is the definition. Now, when you differentiate with respect to uh, S, now this is, uh, you differentiate the left hand side. That is uh, the DDS of FS. Now you have this one, which you are also differentiating. But now remember, this is uh, an integral. Uh, this is uh, a full derivative here because we have differentiated both sides. If I call this one, uh, 
one. So if you differentiate both sides of one, this is this statement here. But now, uh, since you're differentiating, you have uh, a full derivative, you are taking this derivative inside an integral. Uh, once it enters inside, it becomes a partial derivative. This one, once you push it uh, inside, this is now again from your calculus. Uh, this is calculus what? Is it calculus two or calculus three? You did the vector calculus, you guys, where you looked at multiple integrals and you looked at uh, uh, close the path. And uh, I think that is what? Is that calculus three or vector calculus? Uh, in that, you further did, 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 did looked at uh, most of these uh, properties. Okay, so that property, uh, if you have, uh, if you, 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 you want to differentiate this and then the derivative, you want to push the derivative inside the integral, it becomes a partial, and then you can integrate this. Uh, once you are here, this is now direct. Why? Uh, you can just uh, use your uh, integration by parts if you want. But uh, else, because you know you have, uh, this is e to the minus st. If you differentiate this term here with respect to, uh, with respect to, to s, mm? if you differentiate with respect to s, you get this term here. That's why you see you get a, uh, a t e to the minus st, then that f of t. And of course, because you come up with a negative, this negative here goes out here. And then you realize that uh, for the differentiation rule, uh, d ds of fs is simply minus lt f of t. I insist that you need these uh, rules on your fingertips because uh, once you have, uh, uh, because here you can even just make L T F of T the subject and you get minus D D S of F S. That is this one here. So once you have T F of T and they tell you to use the differentiation rule, then you are here. So these rules could be specified, uh, but if they are not specified, then you can use a uh, method or approach you are comfortable with the guys, okay? Right, uh, so we can maybe look at, uh, maybe there are a few applications here where we can apply the so-called differentiation rule. Okay. <clears throat> so there is something here. Uh, we have a uh, sign bt, which is given by that. Then the question is, can we find uh, t sign bt? Remember we are saying, uh, TFT. So in this case, the T is the T, the FT is sign BT. I hope we are together there. So if, <coughs> if the FT is a sign BT, then we apply this one, uh, equation 1.5.12, 1 that L uh, TFT is minus D DS F of S. So the minus d ds, that is this one here, but what is f of s? f of s comes from f of t, l f of t, that is the b over a squared b squared, which is this one here. So can we differentiate this one? Uh, it is better you first if, to avoid mistakes, uh, just leave the negative out. You simply leave the negative out then you bring it back later. So just differentiate this one here, d ds of b over a squared plus b squared. With respect to s, you are the experts in the differentiation. You have product rule and the quotient rule. So since you have a denominator with a squared plus b squared, you can use uh, <coughs> the quotient rule. Or else you can use the so-called product rule and you take this one up there. That would be now what? This would be S squared uh, plus B squared. And this is to the negative one. Then here you can comfortably use the so-called product rule. 
Using that, of course, there is a negative. This negative would cancel with that, and you end up with uh, that answer there. That becomes your answer, guys. Okay. Uh, just give me a second, a second, a second. Okay, uh, yes, guys, uh, sorry about that. Yes, so we said if you apply this rule, you'll come up with something like that. Okay, uh, if we clear that, you have, um, okay, these are like examples really. Uh, where you, 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 you have a certain function here, you, you can play with this. There is nothing much here. You have a PT, uh, which is defined like that. And of course, here you can find the Laplace of uh, that function, uh, PT, the Laplace transform, which is given by this. So now you have another definition here, uh, another function, which is RT, which is T, PT. So if you have a TPT, then it means you are going to look for L, uh, the Laplace of uh, RT, which is the Laplace of RT there. But RT is TPT, which is this one here. And from this, we now go back to our definition. Remember, it is minus uh, D, DS, uh, then FS. I think you remember, this is what we have just discussed up here. Uh, uh, L of TFT is minus DDS F of S, which is this one here in red. So if you apply that, same story, you just come and you differentiate. Uh, so since we have RT, which is uh, given by uh, TPT, but we already have the, the PT, which is this one here then we can go ahead and we differentiate this with respect to S. Uh, and of course, there you have the option of either using the, <coughs> you have the option of either using the quotient rule or the, or the product rule. Hmm? Those are the things you are teaching in uh, those schools uh, down there. Uh, but I'm afraid most of you are quackers. Eh? You know, it is very dangerous if for someone out there is a, a quack. I think you are quite familiar, all quackers. Eh? These quackers are usually problematic. They are out there and uh, they work as a uh, uh, director of studies, DOS, they are heads of a department. You find one is managing, you go for school practice. 
the supervisor, you find the command is the one in the physics, you tell him direct me to the head of a department of math, you find he's again the same guy. And then you wonder how the schools have interested you with these very much powers. But well, that is the school practice and it's a the experience for us who go out there in the field. So just uh, go uh, about it and uh, see how this comes out. Hmm? Because uh, you have been practicing uh, differentiation in uh, whatever you teach uh, down there. Integration rule. Let's go through uh, the integration rule. We've looked at uh, the differentiation rule. So for the integration rule, uh, what happens here is not really uh, very different from what we have just discussed, but nonetheless, uh, you have, uh, if you consider the Laplace transform, Fs, which is uh, this one here, then uh, we want to integrate both sides. Uh, so if you integrate, uh, if I call this one one, so here integrating both sides of one, so that is the integral. Uh, since this was um, Fs, again, if you go back to your uh, uh, calculus C3, yeah. Uh, also, vector calculus. You know, I'm now confusing some of the names of these units. Uh, you will have to change this so that when you integrate and substitute the uh, the limits, this goes back to Fs. So this is uh, direct. You've been doing this. So since it is Fs, if we take on a sigma here, F sigma d sigma. Okay, so on uh, throwing in the limit, substituting the limits, so then this becomes Fs, which is that one there. Then we integrate the whole of this one here. Uh, when you integrate this, of course, it is uh, uh, when you integrate with respect to uh, the integral, this will be with respect to S. But now in here, we have to be a little bit mindful. Uh, so uh, here you'd be dealing with what you'd call uh, a double integral. Where they are triple integrals. But now, before you even obsess yourself with the so-called double integral, you have to be mindful. You have to do some rearrangements here. So that what you'd call a double integral actually becomes a single integral. OK, how? Uh, if we have, uh, if we integrate the whole of this, uh, then we can uh, first of all rearrange these terms. So uh, how do we rearrange this? Uh, we take this integral here inside. And uh, remember, once you take it inside, then uh, our EST uh, dt, we can now make it E uh, sigma t uh, d sigma. And then the FT is out. So what is happening here is, uh, remember from the definition, you have E to the minus ST F of T. So our FT is still there. Now we are redefining the whole of this. So if we have this, we can actually deal with the, the simplification of this. How we can just uh, differentiate this one. Rather, you can uh, integrate this one with respect to uh, sigma. If you integrate this, uh, let me take this one. If we integrate this one here, the inner integral with respect. Uh, to with respect to uh, with respect to sigma, this one will give us a minus e. This will be to the minus uh, sigma t, and this whole thing will be over uh, sigma. If I'm uh, over t, I think I'm right there. 
because you have this term here, uh, differentiating this would give you, uh, that would be T, I think that is T e to the minus uh, sigma T, yes. So this will be this, and this is over T. I think I'm right there. Okay, hopefully. All right, so you'll get something like this. You'll get E to the minus, this is to the minus uh, uh, sigma T over T. But remember, uh, the limit is uh, S here. So you throw in your S. If you throw in the S, then it means it becomes, uh, it means I can actually remove this. I don't need this. If you now throw in the S, uh, it implies that uh, that one becomes, this one becomes ST minus ST. This is E to the minus ST. I think I'm right there. So since it becomes this, uh, so the whole of this becomes this, but remember this is FT. So from this integral, the negative, uh, this negative is that negative there. Then uh, you have this FT over that T, that is the FT over T, okay? And then the E to the minus ST, which is this one here. Okay, I think that is that, it comes out. Right, so once you get this, you, you end up with now this term here. Uh, if we take the negative out, we can take the negative out. So that is integral zero to infinity, uh, ft over t e to the minus st dt. Okay, so getting that, uh, we can now take this negative on the other side if we want, and we end up with uh, the Laplace of ft over t, which is the minus integral of uh, fs ds. And you can uh, link uh, this one with the previous one. So the other one was simply a minus BDS, F of S. This is, uh, and the other one was TFT. This is FT over uh, T. Okay, uh, then we can look at uh, some examples here. If we look at the examples here, we have, uh, if you're given that uh, sine t, the Laplace of sine t is one over s squared plus one, then can we find the Laplace of sine t over t? We already know this, we want to find the sine t over. So these are more of implications. If you have this, then this implies what? The implication is picked up from our derivation here. And from our derivation, we are saying we will integrate f of s. So our f of s, remember it is one over s squared plus one. So there is, uh, because it is the limit moves from s, so instead of s, we substitute it with u. Remember this is one over s squared plus one ds, which is the du over u squared plus one. Ah, here it is now your uh, integral calculus, which you did in year one or semester two. You are the experts in integrating. You know all of the different techniques of integration. So I'm not going to bog you down with those. So integrating this, it will give you the actan of one over S and that one is finished. All right. Uh, okay. And of course, there are other examples here. You know that if you have the Laplace of that, these are just uh, uh, more examples that can be uh, demonstrated. You, if you have this, you can find this. So you have this, you have this. So since we have E at T, which is this, then we have E at T minus one. Then the question is, can we find this over T? We use our formula. Uh, our formula, if you bring up this in here, you have this du. Then you integrate, of course, these are natural logs. The integration, you know, guys, uh, you come up with uh, 
you come up with uh, this and now here you have to be careful again here you go back into your wakalicho last one yeah? because you know what happens uh, from your wakalicho last one I'll just mention this to remind the programmers. If you have things like infinity over infinity, here this is where you may bring in things like the lapital or lapito. I think you still remember these things. Ah. Yeah. So if you deal with the substitutions, remember this is uh, infinity. Now you have this over this, you apply those. Uh, uh, rules of uh, logarithms, you end up with this over this. But now remember, this is infinity. So in here, you're going to have infinity over infinity, which gives this kind of scenario. And once you have infinity over infinity, you must go into, uh, uh, you can use a lapital here, or lopito. And when you use a lopito, you realize that if you want to go Further, I think using a lopito here, it will give you a lean one over one, which will be the natural logarithm of one. I'm sure this one should give you lean of one. You can go and you check it out. You can finish up this, but you can see it is evidently clear here that you are going to end up with a situation like that. And you know, as you have this over this, you have zero over zero. Good enough, you are 30 years, you are now experts in these things. Okay, uh, just to try to finish up this, I think this should give you natural log of one, given what I'm seeing here. Right, uh, those are all the techniques that uh, should be on your uh, fingertips. Uh, Laplace transform of uh, a derivative, okay. We will uh, look at this, it is now 11. I think we can start with this on, uh, will this be Monday next week? Maybe Tuesday. Uh, that next lecture that we'll have, we'll pick it up from here. But uh, I see there are some, I don't know whether there are questions in the chat room. Uh, there is a lot bunny here, okay. I don't know where to pick this. I'm remaining, guys, we are remaining with less than uh, two minutes. Let's just, uh, Okay, uh, well, uh, what I see in here, but they are bringing it directly. Okay, I see people have raised the hands. Uh, let me just try to unmute you and you ask your questions. I don't know who these people are. Labane has a hand up, St. Tongo has a hand. Hey, the hand is a very mean. Uh, okay, let me just... Uh, we are remaining with uh, very few minutes, but what I can do is to come and uh, I have allowed you to unmute yourselves. So the first one, this is who? Uh, Ayebari has unmuted himself. You have less than the one minute to ask your question, younger man. Hello, doctor. Good afternoon. Yes. Dear, good morning. Whatever. How are you? Yes, I have a ridiculous borrower. Yes, your question. I would like to request you to put the recordings on the YouTube channel so okay. that you always access the videos. Because okay, you, you told us that the videos are too large and you can't upload them on where you can't upload them on WhatsApp. So I would request you to take up that alternative. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Point noted. Thank you, Mr. Ayavare. There is another hand by, uh, okay, someone, okay, hands are reducing. There is, uh, who is this now? 